Playboy magazine celebrated its half century a few years ago, an empire still worth hundreds of millions of dollars despite the internet. Now it looks like an Australian model could be the next Playboy centrefold. And talking to Sally Obermeter about bunny ears, being a tomboy and not becoming Hugh Hefner's new girlfriend. Yes, I can see you. I think I cried. <laughs> I really did. When I won, I was just like, I couldn't believe it. I was jumping around the house and I just called everyone I knew and I was like, I won, I won. And For 23-year-old beating 600 other hopefuls to be the Aussie face of Playboy swimwear was a dream come true. Hi, boys. And it couldn't have happened to a more dedicated fan. I started modelling at 15, so ever since I started modelling, to me, it's been the ultimate in modelling that you can do, uh, so to be featured in Playboy is a dream come true. Now that dream just became a lot closer. Playboy boss Hugh Hefner and his team have invited to LA for a test shoot for the next Playboy Playmate. So what do you think of your new boss, Hugh Hefner? <laughs> Well, I'm a really big fan. I've got, I watch the girls next door and he's um, a big part of that and I just love everything about them. So to actually go to the Playboy Mansion and be able to meet them and just see that lifestyle, oh, it's so overwhelming. <laughs> what if you become his um, next girlfriend? <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I don't like two, two older men. <laughs> You'd have to say no, do you think? Yeah. I think I, I think I might have to say no to that one. Playmate uh, photo shoot, the test shoot, is a nude shoot. Um, it will be my first one and I am very nervous about it, but um, I'm very comfortable in doing that. Are you nervous about anyone in your family seeing it? My brother's a little bit. <laughs> you can't do that. The guys at work, they already hassle me enough. But I told him he'll be fine and he'll get over it. After seven years of modelling, this girl from the New South Wales Central Coast knows how to work the lens. Well, and I do have a very... Um, distinctive look and I think it fits Playboy perfectly. Sherry sure. looked the part but she hasn't always worn bunny ears. I didn't grow up exactly being the popular girl. I was actually a bit of a tomboy. You know, I still go down to the shops in my tracksuit pants and my days off I never wear makeup. I'm such a dag so <laughs> I just love just being normal as well so I can I can do this and then I can just be myself too. So. Sexy girl.